Welcome, folks. See, there's two of you here. Welcome to Malamale. Looking at the island female's cub, then at the base of this tree, a couple of hyenas feeding off of the remains of an impale. And I'll show you that impale in a minute. So, the cub has also been feeding off the remains of that impale. And um, looks like the And just let me know if you all can hear me. Four X Gold, that's great, welcome. Tesh, welcome. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look at the leopard cub again. Mum is somewhere close by. She's been in the area. Just don't know where, and you can see that impala. Uh, thanks, Tesh. So the image is also clear, which is we did a little test run, and it wasn't as clear as it is now, I don't think. To zoom in that much, it's quite difficult to zoom in nicely. But you can see that impala is hanging literally by a piece of skin, skin there. And I think uh, if that cub tries to pull that impala carcass back onto the branch, she might just drop the entire thing, which I don't think mum will be too pleased about. So, excuse my zooming. Probably see. Yeah, this I you know crunching away there. John Boy Walton, Walton, thank you for that. Four X Gold, thank you. I hope you guys are enjoying the Mala Mala YouTube channel and this live stream. Of course, we had two live streams this morning. Uh, one was of the Torchwood Pride, or at least members of the Torchwood Pride, and the other was of two mating leopards, the Clevia Rocks female and the Gobazwan male. Now this sighting was also on the go this morning. It's a uh, cub of the island female. I don't know where the island female is. I haven't seen her since I've arrived. But there's the cub. You can see he's just looking down at these hyenas. He's obviously dropped some of that kill. Is this now? I saw someone comment there. So I missed that. Let's just see. Texas Mama, welcome back. So this live is taking place at Mala Mala Game Reserve. And um, Mala Mala Game Reserve is wedged between the Sabi Sands Game Reserve and the Kruger National Park in the north eastern parts of South Africa. In frame we have the cub of the island female who's seven close on eight months old now. 
I suspect the island female is close by as well. I just don't know where right now. Um, the cub's perfectly safe in the tree there. But I don't know how much longer that carcass, impala carcass, is going to remain up there. It's just hanging by a piece of skin. Kimberly Lopez, Annette, Joe Rob Double Zero, you're welcome. So these hyenas are a little bit alert. They're also not 100% sure where the island female is. And of course you can see, we've seen how defensive the island female can get when her cub's around. Or at least when there's hyenas around her cub. She's already lost one of these cubs. Or one of her cubs from this litter. Little male. So the island female is 8 years, 2 months old. She's one of the largest female leopards here at Malamale. She hasn't managed to raise a litter of cubs to uh, yet. Yeah, Kimberly just commenting on how big the cubs getting. Yeah, mom's doing a good job this time around. This is her sixth or seventh litter I think and she hasn't managed to raise one to adulthood. Last year she had one um, that she managed to get to just over a year old and one of the first times she took it down to the Sand River, the Senegal bush male that some of you may be familiar with actually killed So for that I th uh, We don't have tracking collars on any of these animals. Some of the animals do have tracking collars uh, some of the elephants and wild dogs uh, but they are being collared by the Kruger National Park so they come in from the Kruger side and uh, but it's, you know, that research has nothing to do with us. Six, six. The last area of the island female and cub. That covers up the tree. 30% remains of a Palaram carcass. There's two hyenas at the base of the tree. One's feeding off some of the remains of the carcass. That's the of the island female is here. Uh, so, yeah, that was... Uh, just trying to think if it was last year. It was actually the year before last. So she took her cub, who was just over a year old, down to... Um, the Sand River and it was the first time that we'd ever seen that cub and the, the Senegal bush male ended up killing that cub yeah if this cub tries to someone's asking is if this cub tries to pull that carcass back up onto that branch I fear he may lose or she may lose the entire carcass That hyena is looking up, expecting, inspe expectingly, expectantly rather. Let's see who's dominant there. Seasons of Philly, we definitely agree with you. She's the hyena. I don't know if she's pregnant. Or if she's just had a lot to eat, but I suspect it is a female, judging by how submissive the second hyena is. But look at that belly, I'm going to zoom in there, it's actually incredible. I mean, they, they can also look like that when they, they've eaten a lot. But I actually think, I wonder if this might be a pregnant hyena. Yeah, it looks like a female, and yeah, my guess is that she is pregnant. The hyenas typically give birth to two cubs. Uh, 
Zoo Lyric today is La Show Day. Mani Kutum, welcome. Yeah, we are uh, enjoying the live streams today. It's a nice cool day, so a lot of the animals are active. It's exactly what they're waiting for, Texas Mama. They're waiting for that leopard cub to put a foot wrong and drop some of that impala. And this is why the hyenas like to follow leopards in the Sabi sands, not only to feed off of scraps, but to try and, and um, claim that carcass before it's even been hoisted up the tree. See this second hyena is being very submissive. So female hyenas have lots of testosterone and can be very aggressive. tripped over a root there with this cub <laughs> is uh, quite funny. It's um, just oh, watching yeah. these hyenas. It's got like this vague interest in what's going on down there. Sebastian Notor Notorious, not enjoying hyenas. I think they get a bit of a bad rap. A lot of people do love them. They are very charismatic. In fact, I wish that uh, we could follow them like we do our leopards and lions and actually get to know them a bit better. Uh, you know, can barely walk, she's. Zulurk, we don't know where the island female is just yet. I suspect that she is close by. I don't think she'd wander off too far with the kill in the tree, but she I don't think she's too bothered about her cub. Um, I've seen her well I've seen the cub interact many times with hyenas. And um, with the island female present. And the cub, as long as the cub can climb a tree or has a tree close by, she'll be good. Daniel Pogo saying we just left today. We are so sad. Did you just leave Mala Mala today? Don't know if I'm pronouncing your surname right. But if you have, you'd know how incredible the game viewing has been over the last few days. It's been subliminal. So look at the little cub there. This is looking a bit dangerous. Just keeping an eye on the second hyena there. And so to those of you that were asking about the Marthly Pride this morning, when last did we see them? Well, they're just being found on this drive. So that's exciting news. I know they're a crowd favorite. the avoca males are seen. They're sort of in between where the avoca males are seen and where the members of the Torchwood Pride are seen.
am a little bit curious to know where the island female is. I'm just going to take a little drive around to get a slightly better view of the cab. Maybe you'll see the island female whilst we move. Yeah, it's quite a nice view. It's quite an interesting view. Obviously not for sensitive viewers. So it's getting to that time of year where the rutting season, it's getting close to the rutting season and all through the summer the Impala Rams will be sorting out there. The over side of Milwaukee, continuing towards Campbell Copies. Oh, the Marty Pride's getting right close to where the Tortured Pride was seen this morning, They're actually walking in the direction of the members of the Tortured Pride. That's going to be interesting to see how that unfolds. I'll leave the radio on so we can hear. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, the Impala Rams uh, are all sorting out their rank at the moment and they have been throughout the summer and the males like to chase each other around. And the, rut, the peak of the rutting season is in May where males become highly territorial and will try and mate with lots of different females and actually herd the female impalas within their territory and try and mate with as many as possible. Um, but even now at the moment, the rams are chasing each other around just to get a feel for who's who in the zoo. And uh, it's when they chase each other around that they become quite vulnerable. We see a lot of impala ram kills from now uh, up to rutting season. And during rutting season, almost all the kills you see are impala rams. They're so concerned with other rams and with trying to mate with females, they're not, they're not very aware of this. Three months ago, rams. In about a month's time, nearly all of the kills that we see will be impala rams. Slick is still just watching the hyenas who are just lurking on the outskirts, yeah? Thank you all for joining us. It's been a good day for live streams. And for those of you that are new to our channel, uh, click the subscribe button. And, um, and the bell notification and then when we do go live you will be notified as to when we go live so if you have a look at our YouTube channel you'll see we've got a lot more polished sightings on there we've got some great behavioral footage so feel free to enjoy those
Oops. I can hear a hyena throwing up behind me, but I can't see it. I'm not sure I want to see it actually. But uh, the leopards also heard that. Pit. I'm live again. The Mala Mala YouTube channel. Sounds like this hyena is right here next to the vehicle. I just want to see exactly where he is. <laughs> yes, a little bit ridiculous actually, and you're not going to be able to see it now. But he was lying on his back, now he's smelling. That's not good. No. Having a second go at lunch there. It's, it's amazing that their digestive systems can actually deal with those shards of bone. So for those of you that have just joined us, this is the cub of the island female and then uh, an impala carcass which is hanging next to that cub and then impala carcass is just hanging by a piece of skin and it's looking at our hyena which is just behind me right now. Hyenas are just waiting at the base of the tree hoping that the impala carcass gets dropped out of the tree by the cub which is a very much a likelihood at this point. Should that cub try to grab hold of that carcass, I think 
I think she might just let it fall. It's in a very precarious position there. A lot of flies here, a lot of biting flies as well. This hyena uh, has been quite disgusting. It's now, it's just thrown up. Now it's um, lying with its head in its mess. It's uh, not the right behavior if you're trying to win people over. Doesn't do much for the image, does it? <laughs> Oops, <that's right. sighs> so this is a bit of a stalemate for now. Looks like uh, everybody's just catching a nap. Um, I think what I might do is drive around and if I find something go live again. Um, I think what I'll, yeah, maybe I'll just take a quick little drive around this area and see if the island female is actually and then uh, move on. Lie just a little bit away from the trees to kill him. He's probably just lying under one of these bushes, not far from here. There she is. There she is. <laughs> Hoping to go unnoticed. I'm going to just loop around so you can see her nicely. I'll be just have to turn around quickly. So she's been watching us the entire time, she's been watching this whole story unfold as well. It's going to get us into a better position here quickly.
Where's Mama? So she's one of the larger leopards we have here at Mala Mala. She's the crown is stopping for eating sunset drinks. We come and try some of Hopi's at the junction of the sausage spot stations piece over there. So she looks well fed. She's obviously quite comfortable with a cub up in the tree. So for those of you that can hear the radio, that's the Marthly Pride that they're talking about, which was found this afternoon. Listen to her calling the cub there. It's definitely the most viewed leopard at the moment. Just because um, she's keeping her cub in one smallish area and keeps on returning to that area along the Machapuri River. So they're relatively easy to find. There we go. This might get interesting. I think we'll just stay a little bit longer. If she's going to go up the tree, maybe worth wireless just hanging out here. Bit. Mostly in Pala now, slowly mobile, away from the Martin Brown. Yeah, the cub's moving around the tree now. I think let's us get into a position there. <laughs> So here comes, there's the cub on the right of screen, the impala carcass on the left of screen. And there's the island female over there. So let's just see what's going to happen here. She might decide to climb up the tree, or it looks like a cub might come down. Zero B, King to pull out to me, Northern Avoca Mail, this morning, Gary, Crash Road. They are communicating with each other. Yeah, 
station is idle and females return to the base of the tree. She's just watching the cub. Okay, so there's something happening here. I think there's maybe a pack of wild dogs not far from here. It's wild dogs fighting over a kill with hyenas. This station's got audio of a number of hyenas and potentially wild dogs fighting a Malamala -mala Fluffield boundary somewhere around. See the island female is getting a little bit nervous. She's also heard what's going on here. And I wonder if she's decided maybe it's time to leave the area. Get her calling the cub. So if those dogs come and find them, they're certainly going to chase them up the tree here again. And then they'll be stuck here with a bunch of dogs. So it looks like the island female is abandoning this kill site. We'll just watch this cub climb down. And then... I think what we should do is maybe go and follow up on those hyenas and wild dogs. I actually thought I heard something being killed a bit earlier. You can hear the island females calling this cub quite urgently now. And then mum have reunited. Folks, I don't know if um, it's been an amazing afternoon, it's been an amazing day here at Mala Mala. I'm just feeling the need to go and follow up on what all the fuss is about with those hyenas. I suspect that uh, the wild dogs maybe made a kill and that the uh, hyenas and wild dogs are now having a face off. I haven't heard anything more, but I feel compelled to drive there just to at least find. Oh, let's see what the island female does first. <laughs> Looks like she might even ascend the tree now. 
she might she might just reposition that impala. So let's have a look. Before we leave. Climbs up there, it's going to be pretty explosive. You know that was sitting here bolted off in the in the easterly direction and it heard all that commotion. Car lurches, that sound will definitely attract any hyenas in the area. And you know, just with her luck that all the hyenas in the area have run off. So she actually has a moment here to regroup and potentially hoist this carcass again, which which looks like she's gonna do. Much better. I don't know. I don't know if I, I don't know if you all are chatting in the chat room, but I'm not seeing any chats. Um, yeah, so if I, I'm not answering your questions because I'm not actually seeing anybody chatting. Yeah, try that. Hey. There we go, I see a whole bunch of you now. It's a fire hanging up by a thread, oh, there you go. Nice. Now the cub is at the base of the tree. Okay, so it is pretty quiet here, okay. So maybe it was just me, but um, yeah, it was lovely to watch. So we at Mala Mala Game Reserve. Um, oh yes. Barry asking, is that skittish male that clashed with the island female still around? I imagine he is. He's been seen in this area quite a few times, actually. And um, no, I none. We are not in the Masai Mara. We are in South Africa. Masai Mara is in Kenya, East Africa. We are in Southern Africa. Island female still trying to position this uh, this carcass. Yes, I'm torn in two here because this sighting is getting quite entertaining now. But I know there's something happening to our east here, and there's something is going on. And for the hyenas to rush off like that means it's probably something quite exciting. Hi from Las Vegas, Jetta, the human, which. Asking which is the best park in Africa for wildlife. It's a difficult question to answer But certainly if you're looking for big five and for cats and predators and lots of interaction You're gonna to struggle to beat this Particular reserve that we're on and I'm not just saying that because I work here. I have guided all over Africa And the sightings here can be quite incredible
Nick says she could probably carry just about her own weight up a tree. So she, she's one of the yeah, largest kind of the female American leopards that we have on Mala Mala. I suspect kilograms, maybe even just over. And um, that Donaya Viet no biased laugh out loud. I know, but it's a, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I know it sounds bad me saying it, but I've never really come across any property that uh, can deliver the goods like this place can. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so uh, the game viewing is very consistent here. And uh, yeah, thank you, Kathleen. Uh, we enjoy working here, that's for sure. Uh, we get blown away as rangers working here. So WT, are adult cheetahs considered potential prey species for leopards or not? Uh, when it comes to leopards diet, I've seen a few websites that... Uh, so leopards don't really eat cheetahs, but any predator given the opportunity will kill another predator if it can overpower it. Now leopards are way stronger than cheetahs. Cheetahs um, you know, are quite low on the list of large predators in terms of their strength and power. Um, lions in this area are right at the top. Then I'd say probably hyenas and leopards depending on the specific lie, hyena or leopard. And then uh, yeah, cheetahs fall in after that. JB, how often do leopards kill? Um, so they don't eat regularly like we do. And uh, what I mean by that is, you know, we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So they're incredibly opportunistic. They'll take whatever opportunity comes their way. And uh, last year we actually had the privilege to watch or to find a leopard which had hoisted three different kills in three trees right next to each other. Um, yeah, Kathleen, Kathleen Jones just um, talking about the vulnerability of cheetahs. That is the case, but they also need a lot of land. Um, so whereas a leopard in the Sabi Sands, a male leopard's territory can be 25 square kilometers. You know, cheetah's home range is far, far larger than that. So... I haven't spotted any small predators this afternoon. Um, I've just spotted this cat, really. It's the island female. But I suspect there's a lot more. Actually, we've seen some spotted hyenas as well, but I suspect there's a lot of action just to the east of us. Because um, all the predators have disappeared from here, and I'm actually itching to get there, but this, the sighting is getting quite good now as well. Tyler Durden asking, what's the largest leopard I've seen? Whew. Um, it's a difficult one to answer because you, you almost need them to stand next to each other to tell whether they're large. This is certainly the largest female leopard I've seen. Um, at the moment, I'd say the three largest male leopards on the property are the Exhibitor male, the Split Rock male, and the Maximus male. And you really do need them to stand next to each other. I almost want to say that the Maxim's male is the largest male leopard that we have here currently, but he's not the largest leopard I've seen. I've seen large, and I'm trying to think who. Um, Rahul, I'm using a Huawei phone, actually. A smartphone. So... A uh, impala ram like this should last two to, a female leopard two to three days. An impala lamb might last, a really small lamb might just last. Really, It really is tough to tell, tell um, the size of them unless you're seeing them standing next to other leopards. Uh, Campan was huge, yeah. Campan was big. Um, the most beautiful leopard I've seen is... Oh, there's action happening here. Yeah, the yellow hyena's going crazy. Uh, 
uh, the most beautiful leopard I've seen was a uh, um, bicycle crossing male. And he lived for many years here at Malamala. Him and the Ngobazwan female. And uh, yeah, they had incredible genes. Folks, I feel like I need to go and see what is happening there with those hyenas because there's some action going on there. And um, I don't know if I'm going to have signal down there. In fact, I'm pretty sure that I'll lose it. But I, what I'll do is I'll just drive. And if we lose signal, we lose signal and so be it. I hope you guys are okay with that. But I think that's going to be the best solution here. Maybe there is signal and you see something great. Back part, well, actually, I don't know if we will. It's getting quite dark now. Uh, yeah, so Rahul, I'm at 66GBR is my Instagram handle as well as my um, my TikTok handle. I'm new to TikTok, so is Mala Mala. Uh, but if you just look for 66GBR. So my name is Gareth. Jan Diopel, you hear? It's another local. Kathleen, yeah, we're trying to. Uh, the season starting to get busy now with winter approaching uh, generally that's our busy season and we are getting busier and busier but hopefully we can do more live streams we are starting to get some kit um for uh Portrait lionesses in within close proximity of each other. Uh, they, in fact, I think they're all within quite far from where we are. So it's uh, the lion dynamics are heating up. We come to Mala Mala, both the leopard dynamics and the lion dynamics look to be getting good. I would highly recommend it. Barry just asking whether the Gobazwan's brother, the Ifield male, has been pushed out yet. Um, Gobazwan male is being seen more in that area, uh, but whether he's managed to claim the territory to himself fully yet, we can't be sure. Every now and then you see the Ifield male in that area as well. And, um, you know, this is a, a gradual thing. It doesn't just happen overnight. It kind of unfolds over many months. So it'll be interesting to see who does end up in that area. It's, a, it's an incredibly productive area in terms of prey species and just absolute prime leopard territory. And I actually want to go back to that comment about the largest leopards. You know, it's only really the finest specimens that can hold those territories along the river, especially where the confluence of both the Mluati River and the Manyaleti River comes out, which is right in front of Mala Mala Main Camp. You know, leopards use these uh, riverbanks to hunt on, and they often use them as boundaries to their territories. And we have, so there's lots of rocky outcrops in the area, lots of prey species, lots of water. Absolutely ideal territory for leopards. 
So it's usually only the finest specimens that are able to set up shop in and around Mala Mala Man Camp. Uh, which is yeah, very exciting for us. So we spoke a little bit about the island female and her cub. Or the fact that she hasn't been able to raise any cubs to adulthood. And that's partly due to the fact that um, she, you know, it's between the Machpi River and the Sand River. Just spoke about the confluence of the rivers. And it's where lots of cats are. It's great for game viewing, but not so great for raising cubs. So the Ngobazwan male and Ifield male were raised quite far away from the river and they've just made their way down towards the river. Names Queenie female is being quite successful at raising cubs and it doesn't hurt us away from the river. So it's maybe a little bit easier for her to raise cubs. It's been a real and on TikTok for commenting and for being a supporter of all of our different channels. Uh, we obviously we have more of you subscribing and enjoying these videos that we share. Uh, the more we can share, you know, it's, uh, it's been a great experience for us. And the more interest you all show, the more inclined we are to do it more often. So thank you very much. I'm just going to have one last look here. The island female who's since repositioned her carcass. It's getting quite dark now. She's looking in the direction of the cub. But um, there she is. You can barely see her against the dark sky now. So Daniel, <laughs> you're here at Mala Mala and asking, you must have been here at Mala Mala, asking about the signal. We don't have signal everywhere, but I do have a signal booster. So we did a TikTok live stream for World Wildlife Day and it was, uh, it was a very successful uh, live stream. We had about a million people join us on that particular live stream, at least on the afternoon drive. So it was, it was great. And we did it off latest sightings channel. Um, but yeah, we've got a signal beast to tell. But folks, I'm going to say goodbye. Daniel, please come visit again. And yeah, so please uh, do feel free to. Want to keep an eye out for those, but thank you to all the regulars. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, goodbye for now. Thank you, Arabian Heart.